Hello, welcome to episode number 49 of the 70s Silver Art Bar Show. I uh, just want to show you what I bought uh, during this weekend's coin show called the Tennessee State Numismatic Society Coin Show. Fall, the fall coin show. Uh, these bars are some of the bars that I bought while I was there at the coin show. Uh, some of the good, pretty good ones in my opinion. But I'm going to start out with this one. Graham Sterling. This is a steamboat. It was minted in 73, I believe. It's either 73 or 74. I think it's 73 in the guidebook. I like this one. This, this, To me, this bar right here is the best bar that I bought out of all the bars that I bought at the show. It's a worldwide mint. It's a Loveman's building a Loveman Centennial and this uh, the Loveman's building is uh, located in downtown Chattanooga it's still there you know when I'm downtown I'll walk past it and uh, these bars these are Justice Mint all these were mint in 73 now this one this one that's interesting is this one right here if I flip it Uh, inverted reverse this one right here uh, Lord's Prayer a very detailed you should be able to see the words and this is what the reverse looked like so Arlington Coin Galleries it was meant in the 73 that's a neat one right there Yeah. See how clear that is. I like that. And here's an interesting one. This one was minted by the Hamilton Mint. I think it was 74, I think. I have to double check. But this is part of a set. I think it was like 24 in the set. It has like di different occupations. But this is the only one I found. What's interesting about it, Chris got his, it's got some on some writing on the back. What's, what's really interesting about this particular bar is that I'm trying to take a close up you notice that uh, the bottom right hand corner there's some initials HAS stands for H Alvin Sharp so I mean that that's I, I knew what it was right away before I saw the initials because sometimes you can just tell if you see enough of them you can just tell that the artwork so he always did some good stuff. And this was in the 70s. So. Here's another one. Great Lakes Mint, 1973. It's Happy Halloween. Now, I got some Hamilton Mint. Picked up a bunch of Hamilton Mint bars like this today, uh, during that weekend as well. Uh, these are America the Beautiful series. And then the America the Beautiful series, it consisted of 50 bars in a set. And it just each one represented a part of America that is America. That's like Americana. So like this one's the Great Plains. Got a picture of the horse and windmill. It's uh, like I guess mid Midwest. And it's a gold plated version uh of the silver art bar. There's like and I tell you, the, the mint, the mintage on these are high. This, the regular version has a mintage of ten thousand each, of each bar. The gold plated silver, the gold plated silver version has five thousand mintage each, which is really high mintage for a silver art bar. And like I said, these, there's supposed to be four of these. Salute to uh, uh, American inventors supposed to be four of those I only was able to find three the dog bars the German Shepherd the bugle justice mint these are serial numbered and so is this one the dog what the dog bars are serial numbered but I was only able to find two and those were missed in the 73 and this bar right here it's part of the horoscope series bars that were minted in 73 
by the United States Civil Court. I plan to sell, I plan to sell this one. It, my sign is Virgo, so definitely I'm gonna sell this one. Some of the others I'm not sure I'm gonna sell. I think I bought four more of these, so I'm gonna sell these as well because uh, it's part of a set and I don't have the complete set. And I'm one of those people that I don't like incomplete sets. So if it's a broken set, I'm gonna definitely sell them. So I'm gonna sell these. Uh, might sell maybe uh, probably at least one of these. Probably keep this one. Not sure yet. Probably sell one. This, I'll probably keep this one right here. Probably keep the Beagle. This I'm not really sure about. Might sell, like I said, it's part of a set, so I'll probably just probably sell that. This one will keep. I'm not a religious person, but I just like I like the bar. Just basically, that's it. Just like I like the bar. Of course, the Lovemans. I'm gonna keep that one. But I just wanted to show you. Actually, I bought more bars than this, but these were some of the best ones uh, that I picked to do this video. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't have much time for the show because my uh, I work my work hours at my main job have changed. So basically, that means that I work weekends now. So that so basically, I didn't have much time to really like look around the show like I wanted to. So I probably spent maybe like two hours, maybe each day I was there, maybe two and a half. I'm not sure. I think yesterday I spent 45, only 45 minutes. But like I said, just some quick, just some quick hits. Uh, see what I could find and then just leave. So if you saw, I know I have some Facebook friends that I know that collect these that go to shows like I do. Uh, if I didn't see you, uh, I do apologize. Yeah, I, I was kind of like squ squeezing for time at this point. So I did speak to a couple of collectors. Uh, they know me pretty well. So if I didn't see you, I apologize. Yeah, I, just, I was kind of like there and just out in the flash pretty much. So that's what happened. But I just want, like I said, still very successful. You know, I bought some coins as well for resale for my business. But, you know, overall a successful show in terms of the bars. Cause that's mainly what I was looking for. I mean, that's what I specialize in, and that's why I love to collect. So, that part that was very successful, and I'm very happy with that. Uh, everything went well, despite the the shortest of time that I had. It still went well, so I'm very satisfied with it. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you what I bought. Uh, you know, I, I like hunting for stuff like this. I love hunting for bars. So it it was pretty good, uh, really better than expected given the amount of time that I gave myself. So that's pretty much it. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, and goodbye.